So behind me is my 2009 Cadillac CTS-V, and this car is proof that a project can actually be done. Uh, this video is about the stereo I just got finished, and we'll talk about the wheels and the paint job a little bit, but ultimately this is about a project being complete for reals. I did a video uh, on this car, it's been a while now, just about the, uh, the engine build and kind of the setup at that time. Engine-wise, we're at the exact same, and uh, again, this video is about, one, the stereo, two, you know, how it looks now after the paint job and the wheels, but it's about the car being finished. So, I am super happy with how all of this came out. I like the new BC Forged wheels. The paint job looks unreal, and again, I just had it resprayed the entire car to the stock Thunder Gray Chroma Flare. The only thing I, that wasn't sprayed are the lower rockers, but everything else in the car has been redone. So this car has got 58,000 miles on it, and it looks unreal. Um, obviously, it's garage kept, but the fact that it, it still you know, looks as good as it does for being, at this point, 12 years old with almost 60,000 miles is, is, uh, is really nice. This is why I like older things, because, granted, the, the, the price... The auto price market right now sucks for used cars, but you can you could have get, gotten these things cheap, cheap in quotes, but still they're not, you know, they're half what a new car would cost. Uh, and it just still looks very modern to me and looks like a, uh, like a legit muscle car. Um, again, the stereo was done by James Taylor from High Voltage Car Audio. He did a fantastic job on the whole, whole setup. This, I'm, what I'm filming right now, this, this door, is literally my favorite bit. Um, I had him go through and you know, essentially use the stock door panel, but my goal was make it look stock, but fit two six and a half inch woofers in each door. And I cannot believe that he got it done. I will uh, get a stock one set up here so you can see the difference. Okay, this is a stock door panel on the left versus his aftermarket. And I say aftermarket, he made it by you know, from scratch. So his aftermarket modifications. And you can see on the stock how the, uh, you know, the, 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 the gloss black bit, which is falling for a minute, the gloss black, black bit turns into the Bose logo, which then shows like a, it's about a seven inch or an eight inch opening behind there. You can see through it. And if I zoom out here, you can see how the Bose logo was, was chopped off and then he put in essentially an exact replica of the shape, matched it to the color of the, the door itself, and then fit two six and a half inch Focal drivers behind that. And again, it looks so good and it sounds ridiculously good too. Um, that's like the centerpiece of this system. Uh, the subwoofer box is also very, very cool, but this, I can't get enough of how good of a job he did on making it look you know like what it is if we hop inside it's gonna be tight if we hop inside he also did this dash setup and so on a stock ctsv actually yeah, i think i have one on a stock ctsv you have this monstrosity for the stock radio and so i will try and set that there so you've got all of these controls for what is the old stereo, the stock stereo. And all he did was yank all that out and replaced it with a custom built dual gauge pod, one for AFR and one for, uh, for volts. And it looks so clean. I had him paint the entirety of the center console, uh, even the cup holder there. And it just looks so much nicer than, uh, than I had it in here. He, um, you know, put in the double din stereo and the whole setup just looks super nice. Integrated in as well, the base knob, so it's right into the center console area. Very subtle, but uh, very nice looking, and uh, just a sweet setup. But again, from this vantage point in the car, it's hard to even tell, if I move this out of the way, that there's an aftermarket stereo in here. There's nothing else that screams aftermarket stereo. And if we look, in the top of the dash here, you can't see it, but he's got the full kale tweeters, which is like impossible to see, mounted in the uh, dash location. So we've got two six and a halfs in the door, uh, two one inch tweeters, one in each uh, dash area, and then literally nothing in the back doors whatsoever uh, because we don't need it. The, the fronts uh, are enough and it sounds really good. And then if we move back here to the trunk, 
We've got one of my trunks back together forever. It was just an ice tank and a, a bare trunk as I had had. My own uh, goes with aftermarket Stara stuff. He put in this cover with a CTSV logo, which looks amazing. And then you peel this cover off, if I can, it's magnetized. You peel the cover off and I'll pull it out. And that leaves you with the framed subwoofer setup. And so what we have back here, with my reflection in the background there, is a single 10W7 JL Audio uh, in a sixth order bandpass box. And what that means is there are two chambers, a front chamber and a rear chamber. And I'm gonna pull this thing off so you can see better what's going on. This also comes off very easily. So what you can see now is, too much glare, is a front port and a back port with the two chambers. And you can tune each of those chambers to be a different frequency, to have a different frequency response. What's nice is he ported them directly into the rear deck of the car. So you get all that sound energy directly into the car. And then next to it, we've got an audio control DSP and an audio control amplifier. Uh, the DSP is built in, it's the D6-1200 on the bottom there. Uh, it's six channels at 1200 watts with a DSP built in, and then the single 800 watt for the subwoofer uh, amplifier as well. And literally that's the system, it's that simple. Uh, not crazy amounts of power, not crazy amounts of speakers. We've got one, two, three, four, six, seven speakers for the whole system. But uh, it's a nice setup, it sounds, it is my favorite sounding system that I've owned thus far. Uh, I could not be happier with it. Let's peek under the hood real quick. Again, nothing, nothing changed here. But again, for a 60,000 mile car, um, this thing looks really good. I'm really happy with it. We've got our you know, 427 aluminum dart block, 2.6 blower with Frankenstein heads, our DDP intake there on a one-way throttle body, and uh, puts down about 1,000 horsepower to the wheels. And just a fun car all around. You can drive around stealth, and then you can hammer it and lay some, uh, lay some waste to the tires. Anyways, this is a quick one. Uh, I'm not gonna play the stereo just because I think it's one, you're like listening over whatever speakers you have and it's always funny watching folks play their awesome stereo on a, uh, on a video format where you can't really realize it. So I'm not gonna play the stereo, but trust me, it sounds good. If you ever see me in person, by all means, ask for a listen. Not many folks do and I'm happy to, happy to play it for you. I know it was a quickie, uh, but again, projects can come to a, an actual end. Uh, and this one has, I've got a few more that have two. My trailblazer back there, it's at its end also, meaning it's done and I'm happy with it. Uh, it's got some issues with the transmission that we're gonna get fixed, but no more upgrades. Uh, it's just a driver's car at this point. And, um, but yeah, this Cadillac is done and I am thrilled and it's a fun car all around. And uh, again, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I appreciate all the feedback. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching to the end, you guys. Uh, if you want more car content from DDX Auto, by all means, like, subscribe, and all that BS. And uh, catch us on Instagram, too, at DDX Auto.